let's look at how Slip works. As this scene opens, our character Mary notices something. A flickering x-ray machine, only it doesn't flicker. We want to adjust the x-ray shot's content without changing its duration. Slip accomplishes this much faster than recutting with overwrite from the source clip. To set up for a slip, we can lasso the entire two-second clip from right to left. If you're not a fan of lassoing, you can use one of the other setup options listed below this video. Once you lasso right to left across the entire clip, Media Composer enters trim mode, places the rollers on either end of the segment you're slipping, and calls up a four frame display. For a slip, we'll pay attention to the middle two frames, which represents the shot's current first frame and last frame. Okay, let's decide if we want to slip forward to later content or backward to earlier content. The last frame dims slightly. So let's slip forward to later content. We can use right-facing trim buttons or keys or a positive numeric value. Let's use JKL. I'll place a footage and slips forward to later content in real time. Notice the first frame appears to be a mid flicker. Let's play loop. Yep. So we can hold J and K to slowly slip back a bit. That's better. Notice the clip is still two seconds. That's because Media Composer rolled up the same number of frames at the head as it unrolled at the tail, slipping to later content without changing duration. Okay, let's review the steps with another example. Oh! This feels off, like we cut to the purse after it hit the floor. Let's see if we can finesse the content so we can see the purse hit the floor. We'll lasso across the entire segment from right to left, then determine direction, earlier content, so to the left. We can use the left-facing trim buttons or keys, a negative numeric value, or J and K to slip to earlier content. And play loop. Oh! Much better.